Hello and welcome to the next part in the Python Control Structures course from How to Code Well. My name is Peter Fisher and in this tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how we can actually print out the index of each of these items within the list. Now if you've seen my Python Beginners course, you'll know that a list is indexed by numerical sort of keys or numerical indexes, I should say. So we have A which is 0, B is 1 and C is two. If you haven't seen my Python beginners course, then do check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. So we've got four Y in X. This is exactly the same as we had it before. So we're literally just iterating over all the items in X and we're printing that out to the screen. But what we want to do in this tutorial is actually print out the index of each of these items. Now to do this, there's a couple of things that we need to change in this for loop. The first thing is that we need to have another variable within this for loop. So where we've got four Y in X, we also need to have four key and Y in X. So what we do here is we have four and then key and then Y in X. Now, if you've seen that Python beginners course, you'll know that a list isn't actually keyed by anything. We have an index in our list. When we're talking about dictionaries in Python, we can mention keys, but a key is for a dictionary. We don't actually have any keys in a list as such. What we have is indexes. So this for loop won't actually work because we can't actually get the key from this list. What we need to do instead is enumerate over the values in X. And what's happening when we enumerate over X is we're actually unpacking both the index and its value. Let's go and change Y to be value to make that a little bit more readable. We're just going to change Y in here as well. And of course, we're going to change Y there too. So value like so. So eventually what we're going to have is value is, and then we're going to print out the value. And we're just going to have another string where we're going to have at and index and the index will be an integer. So we need to have a string. So we're going to cast that to a string. So we're just going to have key like so. Let's change that to index as well. And let's change that to index too. Right. Okay. So if I run this, it's going to fail and it's going to fail because we can't actually unpack the index from the list because the list is not a dictionary. So what we need to do is enumerate this. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you the error that you get. So let's just save this, run this in the terminal, and we should get hopefully an error. So the error is need more than one value to unpack. That is because we're trying to unpack X, X being a list. Now, yes, the list does have an index, index zero, index one, in index two. But in order to get that, in order to unpack that and assign that to the index, we need to enumerate over the value of X. So in order to do this, we need to use a inbuilt function in Python. And that function is enumerate. So en, oops, en, and then enumerate. Let's put in X into the parentheses like so and save that. So now we're enumerating over X, which means that we can unpack the values of X, including its index and its value. Let's save this, run this again inside the terminal, run this. And now we have value is a at index zero value is B at index one. And finally value is C at index two. Now I mentioned earlier the differences between lists and dictionaries, and certainly I will be adding links to the tuples, lists and dictionaries tutorial that I've got in my Python beginners course for anybody who wants to learn the differences between the three. And in the next part of this course, we're going to be furthering the for loop even further by using those different types of lists and dictionaries. So do subscribe to pick those up. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding everyone. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.